Wednesday afternoon now. Well, I am a fine man. I had three super chats with one man at the railway station. Has come back from eight or nine days cycling with his son of 41, going up to Durham. He's 70. 71. Lucky man. And then at the church here, St Andrews, one chap was a, a naval chap, naval missionary, he called himself. Um, but again, a, an older chap. And the other man's daughter was sort of welcome as the other man's daughter was. Is, is, you know, he's sort of in psychiatric hospital for something and something, whatever we don't, we don't go into the details, but fine. I left saying, you know, don't let your... He's angry with God. Well, that's one thing, but don't let your anger turn to hate. That's my work. You know, if I meet people, then I must give of my best. I love you, my Lord. I'm blessed. I say this many times people or just to you. I'm still wondering obviously about to be here or to be up in <coughs> London, the zoo, Primrose Hill. But I think it has to be London really. Obviously can't stay on here, this physical bed and breakfast. They've been very sweet, welcoming, which is super. But, you know, it's their place, you know. Three nights, I think, and then um, they've said the little back room is available over the weekend, but I think I must go. Anyway, that's not today. I've still got the whole of tomorrow. Drawn out. Me wedge. Paid some money. But I'm last down to my last few thousand now. And then I'm brassic and stuck. Anyway, not today. I don't have to worry about that today. I'm not squandering it. I haven't squandered it. The money from that little house has supported me in, in Longfield Avenue. I haven't earned a penny for since 1996 when I closed my computing company. So 12 years. One way or the other, I haven't earned a penny for 12 years. I haven't squandered it. It has given me my time to live and to follow you, my Lord. To seek and find your will for me. And that can't be wrong. Whatever comes. I am what I am, and because I've been what I've been, and I've done what I've done, <coughs> I've stuck at it. I mean, just to be alive at all, quite frankly, is a bit of a miracle. It's tough, this broken marriage situation. Yes, I said to him, don't end up hating. I <coughs> have lost my son, and not only have I lost my son, but I have nowhere to mourn for him. I, of course, have never been off on cycle trips with him, etc., etc. Anyway, that's just the way of it. <coughs> you knew all this, my lord, before it happened. You knew all this. You knew it would be this way. It's how you talk to me through these long, hard years of foot soldiering. One step, little donkey. One step, one step, one step at a time. I love you, my lord.